This video brought to you by RipTee.com. If you're ready to upgrade and try the most comfortable underwear and t-shirts that you've ever felt on your skin, make sure that you use the promo code DRONETECH to get 20% off most items. Thank you. Most people reading through that transcript are not going to find that uh, extremely compelling cause to throw out a president that won an election in 2016. And instead, what I think most people will see is, hey, this is uh, another move by Democrats. Uh, to get rid of Donald Trump. After yesterday's release of the Trump Zelensky transcript, it was pretty clear that the media was going to have to do some serious spinning and apparently that wasn't enough because now they're just outright lying about what's in the transcript's contents. During a segment on the Wolf Blitz show, the longtime Democrat Party operative made the erroneous claim that Trump asked for a favor just before asking the Ukrainian president to open the investigation into Hunter Biden's company. Now, this isn't Hunter Biden's company. He's a board member of this company, but he was given the position inexplicably because he doesn't have any experience in the energy field. And then on top of that, he was given a $600,000 a year salary. Joe Biden bragged about getting the prosecutor on that investigation fired by withholding $1 billion unless they got rid of him. If you read the transcript, Trump is talking specifically about 2016 election interference and wanting Ukraine to reopen investigation and especially into CrowdStrike. Later in the conversation, he brings up Hunter Biden and the fact that that prosecutor was fired during the investigation. Wolf Blitzer and Jim Acosta completely misrepresenting the actual structure of the transcript, and they're just taking parts of it and moving it up to suit their narrative. Again, in the right. in the uh, this uh, uh, summary that was released by the White House, the president specifically quoted as saying to the Ukrainian president, "I would like you to do us." a favor and then goes into an investigation into the Bidens and the Democrats. Something else I just noticed, Wolf Blitzer claims that there's something in there about investigating Democrats. I've read through it several times. There's nothing in there about asking to investigate Democrats. But isn't it hilarious how outraged these people get when you want to investigate Democrats? They love investigating Republicans and their political opposition, but not Democrats. That's because they are the Democrats. Jim Acosta then confirms Wolf Blitzer's initial lie, saying that, quote, he never really explained what he was talking about with respect to that question. And the question he talking about here is can you do me a favor oh that's right wolf and the president never really uh asked uh you know or answered the question i tried to ask the question as he was walking out of the room what did he mean by can you do us a favor he never really explained what he was talking about did acosta and blitz even read the transcript apparently not because like i said before right after he asked for a favor they're talking about crowd strike and the russian collusion investigation trump requests that the ukrainian president look into crowd strike which is the company that investigated the 2016 DNC hack and they might actually have Hillary's server which by the way the FBI never received. Oh that's right Wolf and the president never really uh, asked uh, you know or answered the question. I tried to ask the question as he was walking out of the room. What did he mean by can you do us a favor? He never really explained what he was talking about. This fucking guy. He never really explains it. Gather round, everyone. Little Jimmy's doing journalisming. I'm going to go ahead and read the relevant portion of the transcript so you can see just how dishonest they're being. President Trump responds, I would like you to do us a favor, though, because our country has been through a lot and Ukraine knows a lot about it. I would like you to find out what happened with this whole situation with Ukraine. They say crowd strike. I guess you have one of your wealthy people, the server. They say Ukraine has it. There are a lot of things that went on, the whole situation. I think you're surrounding yourself with some of the same people. I'd like to have the Attorney General call you or your people, and I would like to have him get to the bottom of it. As you saw yesterday, that whole nonsense ended with a very poor performance by a man named Robert Mueller. An incompetent performance, but they say a lot of it started with Ukraine. So clearly, there's a lot of conversation before they get anywhere near talking about Hunter Biden and that shady company that hired him as a board member. The fact is, Hillary Clinton paid for dirt on Trump from foreign adversaries and foreign countries in order to win an election. Joe Biden withheld $1 billion from Ukraine unless they gave him what he wanted. 
Neither of these examples has ever risen to any level of concern in the Democrat Party or their media. How can we take any of this seriously? And why is it any time Democrat Party corruption is on the table near an election, they always call it election interference? As if the people don't have a right to know about it. If anybody is destroying this country's democracy, it's the Democrats and their media who insist on enforcing partisan double standards against their political opposition. Remember, it was the Democrats and their media who claimed that if Trump ever questioned election election results, it would be an attack on democracy. By their own standards, they've been attacking democracy from day one. That's all I have today. Please like, share, and subscribe. Without your support, YouTube will bury this channel with their underhanded tactics. If you would like to help this channel survive and to grow, please consider subscribing to me on Patreon or Subscribestar. You can also send me a donation on PayPal, and I appreciate it immensely. Thanks for watching, and keep coming back.